All right, so you guys remember that one time I gave my bedroom a makeover? That was like a year or two ago, but we are back and this time we're going in with a bedroom refresh, but first, the DIYs. was I going through? It's clearly a shelf. It's a shelf, Kim. A shelf. It was intended for the bathroom. Um, I was going to make it part of the bathroom makeover, but I've had it for over a year now, and instead of donating it, I'm just going to repurpose it and put it in this room. So I didn't realize how much I like yellow until two years ago, so I am going to make that my accent color in this room. It'll be the only thing that's yellow. So I... Went with these options. There's sunny side up, turmeric, back to school, and soft boiled. And I figured this color would be perfect for the room. So let's get painting. Oh, that is so pretty. It's darker in person. On camera, it looks really bright right now, but. to dry and start our next canvas. Look, I just want to take this moment to thank whoever dropped this off at Goodwill and sorry you had to spend a hundred dollars on it for me to buy it for seven and smear paint all over it, but I really appreciate you. Alright, so the first coat dried, which took forever. Um, yeah, I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but I started applying the second coat. This might need like five coats. Maybe I should have used wall paint because this is, this seems like the longer route. But we'll see how it goes. Note to self, poster paint is a no for this type of project. Like just go for the heavy stuff, go for thick paint, acrylic. So this is coat number three. Um, I had this whole idea in my head, right? I was gonna make this what I would hope to have been like awesome um, boho canvas wall art. That's how we made the circles. But I know how much art means to me and my family, so I invited my artist in training to make a masterpiece for my bedroom refresh. I showed him what I wanted, what I had in mind, and yeah, he he definitely took his own route on this one. Um, this literally went from like a pitchfork to a rocket ship to like a skinless chicken. Literally captured my entire vision. The canvas looked a little naked, so I went in with a few splashes of black paint to fill in those those um, empty empty spots, those white empty spots. And I did end up adding a few yellow splashes that I did off camera because it was like it was late. So this is the duvet cover that I'm gonna use on my bed. I showed you guys this like a lot of videos ago, but. Um, I found it on clearance at Target, coming from 70 to 21 rounded. White is one of those rare colors that I don't really like using on my bed, as you can see. Um, it's the usual, the, my sheet is usually the only thing that gives my bedroom life, and I feel like white doesn't really do that for me, but we're going to see how it plays out. Um, so I'm going to throw this in the wash.
I am a sucker for sheer curtain. Like I really am for the simple fact that they still let in light when they're closed. Let me know if you guys are afraid of the dark in the comments. I know I'm grown, but it's true. I am terrified of the dark. This spot is just always, we just, we don't deserve shelves or drawers or surfaces. It's just, we get a little too crazy over here. Instead of the pictures that I DIY, um, this was actually what I was gonna put on the wall behind me. But I changed my mind last minute. But I'm gonna find another use for it. I've had this for a while, I just wanted to use it. But this is the pattern on it. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this, but I... I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna leave it out of the um, room refresh just to see what it looks like and see how we function without it. And if I feel like it did play an important part, cause we do use the light. Um, but if I feel like we could do without it, I won't put it back. But I just wanna see how it feels without it. So it's gonna get relocated. Oops, it's really dusty. The look on Poppy's face, Poppy's my five-year-old, when he saw his little Picasso artwork being showcased in my room was just, it was just full of awe. It was just beautiful, beautiful. Is it crooked? I can't tell. I, Kim with the last name, cannot believe I have gone this long without knowing that I needed blackout curtains in my life. I have slept so well since these curtains have been up and I didn't even realize how much the light that I really enjoyed that was coming in from outside was affecting my sleep. Like, that is insane. Insane. Ideally, I would love for this bed to be pressed in this corner, but one, the air vent is on the floor and yeah, that just won't that's not a good idea and two we wouldn't have full access to the closet because the bed takes up like 70 percent of the room so yeah i just put a plant here instead So I thought I wanted this plant up here because I thought it would look really nice, but I, I could already see that it was a bit stressed. So I decided to um, keep it in its original spot. I completely forgot I was supposed to make a floor to ceiling macrame plant hanger. Like it just slipped my mind. So. I really wanted that in my bedroom, so I'm gonna do that in a separate video along with um, a few more DIY wall art that I'm gonna do myself to go around um, the yellow shelf so that it's not just hanging out by itself. Just adding a little more character, personality, and color to my space.
before we even get to the reveal, like, I'm just going to give a spoiler alert. The white just didn't mesh with the feel of the room. The, the duvet was cute. It was, it was nice. But I needed something more earthy, something more playful. And the white just wasn't, it wasn't. But it's still a nice duvet. Don't forget, I'm traveling only in my head. From the past to future play. More change, yeah, yeah, yeah. My emotions are valid, but the goal is not to be triggered every time. Never mind, it's just life. It's okay for my sanity to choose perfect peace and now forever and always be. I am enough as I am. I am fully equipped. Even when the tide and the current. Thank you guys for sticking around for the reveal. Be sure to like and subscribe and help me reach my goal of hitting 7k subscribers before the end of summer. I really appreciate you guys and I hope to catch you guys in my next one. Bye! Start to share. I am adaptable. I am adaptable. Let it go.